Hello, Retro Nama Squad, and welcome back to another episode of the Retro Nom Nom Nom. Tonight, we have the Don't Let Your Meat Loaf. Yeah, that's that a word, you know, so we're making meatloaf. Um, we're also going to do some shallots with it, and some oven roasted potatoes, and it's going to be delicious. Right there, we've got some panko breadcrumbs with some water and some beef concentrate, just kind of making our meatloaf um, stuffing. I, I don't know, that's not the right term, but uh, that's basically what it is. Um, we got some ketchup, some cheese, some mayonnaise, and of course our beef. We've got carrots that we sliced diagonally, because we're doing carrots as well. Um, yeah, so we're going to get into it. So basically what we're doing is we're going to put our potatoes onto the old pan here. Boom, boom. See, easy peasy pan it up. And we're just going to lay them all out. Do, 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 do. On one side, because we're going to save the other side for the actual meat loaf to go on to. So, there's that. Alrighty, so we drizzled some honey oil on it. We put some salt and pepper on it. Uh, we already had our oven preheated to 425. So we're going to go ahead and stick that in there for a few minutes while we get everything else prepped up. In you go! Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our beef, we're going to stick it inside of here, we're going to go ahead and mix it all up. Really, really good. Um, and then we're going to make two um, little meat loaves out of it. So, sorry, just set my timer for five minutes so that way we remember about those potatoes. Um, but yeah, we're going to mix the panko, the beef concentrate, a little bit of water, the beef in there together, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper in there. We're going to mix it all up. Alrighty, so we've got our beef in there. You just get your hands in there and mosh it all about. Mosh. Mosh. So while we're talking, doing this, getting it mixed up, um, good opportunity to talk about our pop culture this week, which is actually just the actor Meat Loaf, actor, actor slash musician, um, because he conquered a few worlds. Um, let's see, he was in, he's been in a bunch of stuff, um, notably Rocky Horror Picture Show, uh, Spice World with the Spice Girls. I know some people might sneer at that, but that's a fun movie. Um, he is also in Fight Club. I mean, he's been one of those guys that pops up. You're like, oh, hey, look who it is. It's Meatloaf. And I like to say, uh, hey, don't watch Meatloaf because he doesn't. He constantly doing it, man. If he's not acting, he was doing his music stuff. You know, confession by a dash, confessional, Confessions by a Dashboard Light is one of the big ones. Bad Out of Hell is... Amazing record, but uh, yeah, meatloaf. That's who we'll chat about a little bit. Alrighty, so we're gonna take some of our cheddar cheese here, and we're gonna stick it in the center of our meatloaf. See how cool that looks? And then we'll just wrap it in there, make it look like a we'll fold it in there like the blob eating a a person or two, and then you'll save some cheese for you know the 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 uh, topping of it you have some cheese on top because you can never have too much cheese which you know we're not using a whole lot of cheese but you know don't let me stop you from using a whole lot more because some people are just cheesy people and you know we used panko and some beef concentrate to make our meatloaf tonight it's a little different of a recipe than we normally use normally we just grab a pound of beef uh an egg and some like italian breadcrumbs and then just uh We'll just do that, and then we mush it all together with, sometimes we'll do some ketchup to kind of help hold it together as well, and do that, and cook that for a half hour at 350, but we're doing something a little different, trying a different recipe for this particular show, so, you know, good times. Okay, so there we have it, we've got some cheddar inside of that, making ourselves some loaves, uh, we're going to add this with the potatoes, and we're going to stick it back in the oven for, I don't know, about 20 minutes. Just so that way we can get everything fully cooked. Woo, almost grabbed it. Remember to always use your oven mitts. Don't want to hurt yourself, folks. So we're going to go ahead and stick that in. We'll put the cheddar 
the rest of the cheddar closer to when that's done so it's not just burning in there so yeah about 20 minutes and then we'll continue on we'll, we'll fry up some carrots or cook some carrots fry up some scallops and uh yeah we'll just continue on our little journey here Alrighty, so we're gonna cook our carrots. We've got our pan with some oil on medium high heat. We're just gonna get these things going. Oop, didn't mean to splatter that, but it's okay. Things happen in the kitchen. So let those cook. Um, you wanna brown them up, get them nice and soft. While that's happening, we're gonna go ahead and make, um, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce, I think. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, I think so. Alrighty, so as you can see, I've added some water, some mayonnaise, and ketchup together. That's what we're going to make to make our little drizzle. Um, we're just going to stir it together, and you want to make it um, consistency enough to where it's a nice drizzle, but while we're mixing this and while everything else is cooking, there we go, see, it doesn't look like much, but I mean, how can you go wrong with ketchup and mayonnaise, but uh, yeah, Meatloaf, you know, he sings some songs like, I would do anything for love. You know, and he sings some other stuff. He was, I mean, he was adding Rocky Horror Picture Show, and you know, so he could sing. He was, and what I liked about him was that he kind of felt like an every guy, like a blue collar guy, who made it good in Hollywood. You know, kind of a heftier guy. I mean, in Fight Club, they really leaned into that to the point that you know he had tits. They said Bob, he had tits, and that was kind of a plot point that they put in there. But um, yeah, he was a pretty good actor and everything, and pretty good musician had some fun songs you know you could definitely sing his balls off I mean he was in Tenacious D's Pick of Destiny he played freaking Jack Black's dad and you know so that's a lot of fun uh, this is how the carrots are going we're getting there it's all looking pretty good slowly but surely that looks mixed enough I think that's a drizzle consistency or so you know we'll just keep working at this this stuff here was that not a good shot this might be a better shot let's see Maybe. I don't know. We'll keep working on it. We'll, we'll get it there. And there's the carrots. Alrighty, so we tossed some flour, salt, and pepper in with the uh, scallop, 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 shallots, scallops? I don't know. And then we've got our uh, carrots all cooked up, so we're going to go ahead and transfer this to a paper plate so that way we can get some of the oil off. Alright, so as you can see, we got the carrots on um, some paper on a plate to help get some of that oil off of them so we don't have a super heavy oily uh, consistency one thing that we've always do we always save these glass jars for salsa and and different various things so that way we could have them on hand to uh, be able to store oil because you really don't want to put oil down your your sink because that does bad things to your your water lines and such so not a lot water lines but you know the stuff so we went ahead and did some more oil so we're going to do the shallots. You want to do a bit more oil than you normally would because you're going to kind of deep fry them in the pan there. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at next step. We're getting there. Almost there. All right, so we just got those shallots in there. One of the best sounds in the world is that sizzling sound. We get it all kind of going here. Three to five minutes, give or take, on these guys to get them kind of fried up. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Onions and shallots, man, when they cook, mm, they're very aromatic, very delicious. Very good. Alrighty, so we're down to the last couple minutes for the uh, meatloaves and potatoes. So we're going to go ahead and take the rest of this cheese here. And we're going to top the meatloaf with it so that way it would be nice and cheesy for us. Because we're cheesy people. Believe it or not, that's good. Got those shallots going, looking great. We got meatloaf going great. This is probably not the preferred way to do it. You probably should just pull it up to the top. But, you know, what are we going to do? Let's see if we can just pour the rest of 
Okay, all right. Okay, so we'll get that back in. A couple more minutes. Shouts are getting there. We're almost there, dudes. All right, everybody. So we got everything. Unfortunately, I shallowed. I really shat the bed when I shallowed it up because I got those little darkener wood. But potatoes, meatloaves, everything came out. It's it'll be edible. Um, probably just keep an eye on things. Maybe hold back the time a little bit on a few of these things so they don't come out so so dark. But you know, with cooking happen and that's all a part of it you know practice makes perfect you find mistakes you find oh okay about a minute less than that and just generally paying attention is kind of a key and it's not the easiest to do with kids but that's my excuses and that's just what they are excuses so talking about meatloaf just to wrap it up for this episode because everything is finished um fantastic performer check out the stuff he's in he's a lot of fun anytime he's on camera or just singing it up um but that'll do us for this episode of the Retro Nom Nom Nom. As always, you know, if you have questions about the recipe, you know, you can always hit us up on the socials. Um, thanks again for subscribing to the channel and checking out all the other videos on the YouTube page. Or the channel. I guess it is channels, right? Um, and as always, uh, Bob's got boobs. And don't let your meat loaf. Thanks again for turning in. Have a good one. Goodbye. Good night.